All right, so now we got the Bleacher Report article. I already did the ESPN Top 100. This is pretty much the last one y'all got. But if y'all want me to do more of these, like, article reactions, Bleacher Report does a lot. And they always be pretty wild. So y'all gonna get some real crazy reactions out of me. But let's just see how crazy Bleacher Report goes here. So if you guys do want more like this, though, just like the video, subscribe. Without further ado, though, let's hop into it. So off the rip, they started off a little bit better. Jordan Clarkson at 100. I'm not too mad at that. Highest ranking ever was 36. Lowest ranking ever was 160. So they ranked these players. How do they rank these players? Oh, so they did a rankings for the top 25 guards, wings, and bigs. That's interesting. Okay, but yeah. They had him at 100. DeAndre Hunter wasn't even on the list on the other one. Dang, that is kind of crazy. His highest ranking was 66. What in the world? When, the, when was he 66? Am I tripping? Am I, am I tripping? Oh, now the Pelicans could compete with the Warriors too. Uh, my bad. I, I, I think I think the Pelicans have, a, if they reach their peak this year, like for what they could be this year, not for the peak of like what they could be in the future, but the peak what they could be this year, if they actually can climb and get there, I think they could actually be a team that could compete with the Warriors talent-wise. But I don't think I could say they're going to be on the level of some of them other teams. But yeah, let's hop back into the list. Karis LeVert. Wendell Carter Jr. Wendell Carter Jr. should have been on that list too. Bogdanovich, 96. So I guess uh, maybe I'm tripping, but I see a lot more in Bogdanovich. Norman Powell, Kevin Love. Nothing too crazy so far. Aaron Gordon, Terry Rozier, Josh Giddy. Nothing, nothing I'm finna be tripping over. Okay, so they got Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma wasn't even on the list. Kyle Kuzma did not make that top 100. Oh my gosh. ESPN, that's... ESPN, y'all are wild. Y'all are wild. Kyle Kuzma. Keldon Johnson was not on that list. Keldon Johnson was not on that list. Oh my gosh. Bro, ESPN is crazy. Spencer Dinwiddie, I don't know what he's doing to get ranked over uh, Jordan Clarkson, a Terry Rozier, a Kevin Love. A Norman Powell, a Bob Donovich. I don't know. I don't know what Spencer Dinwiddie doing to get ranked over those players, but okay. Russell Westbrook on the Lakers. If this is like a, if this is like a projection, Gary Trent Jr. was not on the last list, bro. I don't know what I'm looking at. Gary Trent Jr. is a hooper. Gary Trent Jr. is a hooper. He's a top 100 player for sure. Um, Russell Westbrook, bro. The Raptors have a, a, a couple top 100 players on their team. OG Ananobi. Pascal Siapin, Fred Van Vliet, Scotty Barnes, Gary Trent. I'm forgetting somebody. I'm forgetting somebody. I'm forgetting somebody. They got at least five or six. That's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say. They got at least five or six. But, yeah. Um, Harrison Barnes, Dylan Brooks, Christian Wood. Christian Wood probably should be a little bit higher. I think Christian, I'm taking Christian Wood over Nurkic. Franz Wagner wasn't on the last list, but I'm not mad at it. It was only his rookie year, but I think he's going to hoop this year. If this is a projection list, I would have him like a top 75 player. I think he could be a top 75 player this year. D'Angelo Russell, I probably have. Uh, not bad. He's going to have to be a real. He's going to have to play big this year with uh, them bigs. They finally got him a, um, a pick and roller, so I think he could actually go a lot higher than 80 this year. He's always been good in the pick and roll. So, I think he could go a lot higher. Colin Sexton, 79. People be really hating on my man, Colin Sexton. Payalo, he's a rookie. I'm not going to, there's nothing much I can really say about that. And Freddie Simons and Clint Capella are tied. I don't like how. Oh, I see what this is. This is not ranking from last year. This is the highest somebody actually ranked him and the lowest somebody actually ranked him. So, we're going to go back to the top. Now, we're going to go back to the top because I've been seeing some crazy rankings. What's the highest somebody ranked Jordan Clarkson? The highest ranking Jordan Clarkson got was 36. Somebody think Jordan Clarkson is a top 36 player in the league. Okay. 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 No, nah, that's crazy. I'm going to be honest. That is insane. Kevin Love, highest ranking 52. Terry Rozier highest ranking. I'm not gonna lie. Was, I'm not mad at Terry Rozier and Kevin Love being ranked that high. I can't lie. Josh Giddy, I'm not mad at that either. Kyle Kuzma ranked that high. I'm not mad at it either. Who doesn't have Kyle Kuzma in the top 100 players though? Like I don't know what you're doing. Who doesn't have Kyle, Keldon Johnson in the top 100 players? Apparently ESPN. 
Russ Westbrook was as ranked as high as 36. I mean, if he's not on the uh, Lakers, I guess you could. I guess I could see it because he gonna get his stats. But on the Lakers, he literally is not fit at all. So I can understand his ranking 100%. Gary Trent Jr. Harrison Barnes ranked as high as 53. Christian Wood should be ranked a lot more consistently, a lot higher. Um, but that's just me. Franz Wagner, D'Angelo Russell. Uh, Sexton was ranked as a top 50 player. A rookie, a player that has never touched the floor, ranked as a top 50 player. Now, I'm going to be honest, that first game, that boy was hooping. He was hooping. That's one of the best first games from a rookie I've seen. And I seen him, first game I seen him on a Duke, as a Duke player, I was like, who the, who is this? I ain't never even had heard of him. Who is this? This man was looking like a, a combo of Melo and Malik, or not Malik, Mike Beasley. Michael Beasley, boy. Michael Beasley and Melo, boy. That's a crazy combination to be in college when you six foot ten, two fifty, and you can put the ball on the floor. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Did I say that was the best? Nah, I, I, don't, I don't know if it was the best, but that's definitely one of the best games I ever seen. I ever seen. Anthony Simons. Not mad at that. I don't know if I'm doing that, but I'm not mad at it. Clint Capella, I don't know. Bro, I don't know what's up with some of these people infatuating with these big men. Kyle Lowry. I'll probably take Anthony Simons over Kyle Lowry. I can't cap. Malcolm Brodden, Julius Randle. That has to be a Knicks fan. Has to. Has to. I don't even know how you even put him that high if you're a Knicks fan, though. Like, you have to watch that every single day. Like, like at the end of the day, if you're a Knicks fan, you have to watch this nigga every single game. Bro, I like the I like Julius Randle so much more when he was on the Pelicans, man. I ain't gonna lie. When he was actually playing within his role, this nigga then turned into LeBron. Like niggas trying to make this nigga LeBron for real. Al Horford, highest ranking, fifty one. Miles Turner, sixty four. Jalen Green, seventy. I think Jalen Green Jalen Green could hoop this year for real. I I I see a lot in that man. I see a lot in that man. Valanciunas ranked as high as thirty four. Tobias Harris ranked as high as so these people ranking Valentin is higher than Tobias Harris. That's kind of crazy to think about, but I'm not mad at that. For some reason, I'm not mad at that. How was how was Tobias Harris ranked lowest? One th Somebody don't have Tobias Harris as a top 100 player. I don't know, man. That's be I don't know. Michael Porter Jr. Vucevic is that what he averaged last year? No, he didn't average that. Okay. I don't know why people surprised his numbers went down. He played on a very, very much ball hoggy. Oh, I'm not even going to say that. Uh, Jeremy Grant should be higher, 100%. Przingis, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. He's always injured, so I can't be mad. OG Ananobi, Tyler Hero. Who, bro, who's making these lists? Who's making these lists? Why are all these big men always top 100? But who's putting Jeremy Grant not in their top 100? Who's putting OG and Anobi not in their top 100? Who's putting a player that averaged 20 points per game on just 32 minutes off the bench while still getting like 5-5 five and five off the bench? Who's not putting him as a top 100 player? What? Like, bro, what does he got to do to be a top 100 player for you, gang? Like, bro, what? But nah, I ain't gonna lie. He gonna hoop this year. He gonna hoop this year, for sure. So I, I ain't gonna lie. He, he, we ain't tripping on that. RJ Barrett's not, like, come on, bro. Look at the lowest ranking for RJ Barrett. What's the highest ranking for Hero? Forty six. Hero is better than RJ Barrett to me. Hero better than uh Pool to me. Maxi. I don't know why people trying to put Maxi in that category with those players though. Uh, Maxi. That's a different. That's a different story. That is a completely different story. Maxi is on a different level. But Pool and RJ Barrett, I don't really get those combos. I, I RJ Barrett and Hero, okay, maybe. But Pool, I don't know, man. Pool, like his role on his team, even when Hero's coming off the bench, his role on his team is significantly different. It's just significantly different. John Collins, Mikael Bridges, I still have not seen Pool. Maxi, not being better than Pool, is crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. Bro, RJ Barrett has not even started off the year better. 
this year than, than uh, Hero. So I don't even know what could even back you up saying that R.J. Barrett is way better than Hero. Like even if you thought R.J. Better R.J. Barrett was better, it wouldn't even. It's not. There's no way you think it's way better. R.J. Barrett doesn't do anything better but defense. That's it. And I'm a and I love defense. That's why I'm not really going too crazy on R.J. Barrett because I mess with I mess with defense. But the only thing is he's like a shot chucker. He's very inefficient. I'm not messing with that. Me personally. Me personally. R.J. Barrett is black. Okay, my thing is okay. I I, I mess with that, but Hero is too though. You gotta understand that at the end of the day. Tyrese Maxey. 57. Ah, man. I can't get behind Tyrese Maxey not being a top 50 player. I can't get behind that. I just can't get behind that. He's going to hoop too crazy this year. Only way he don't hoop is if Harden really just goes into this mode where he's just going to try to be Houston Harden and ball hog and really hold back Tyrese Maxey and Embiid. If the 76 is going to be as good as they're going to be, if the Lakers is going to be as good as they're going to be, these teams have to be drawing up their plays, not so that Harden, not so that LeBron, not so that Russell Westbrook, that the best player has the ball in the situation. Now, if Embiid or AD is getting here injured, there's nothing that those players can do about that. But when they are playing, you need to play around those players if you want to win. It's just a fact. When the Lakers won, what was it? What was LeBron averaging? 23 points, but he was averaging 10 assists. That's what they need LeBron to do when AD is playing. They need him to be more of a more of even more of a pass first player. People try to say he's a pass first player. I would, I would argue it. He passed first to an extent to certain times, but yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't mess with it. So Desmond Bain, Jaron Jackson, Andrew Wiggins is very low. Andrew Wiggins is very low. Andrew Wiggins is very low. Marcus Smart over Andrew Wiggins after the finals. Like, I don't know. I. Don't, I Tyrese Halley, I don't know what's the... Bro, the highest somebody ranked Tyrese Halliburton was 22. Who's saying Tyrese Halliburton is a top 25 player in the league? Let me know. Who's saying that? Who's doing that? Who's doing that? Who's doing that? Like, literally, who's doing that? Who's doing that? Top 25? Tyrese Halliburton. Top 25. Right now, today. Like, come on, bro. Like, what are we doing? Come on, what are we doing? Okay, Sabonis. I don't know what's up. I guess Sabonis does have really good stats. And he could have a good season with De'Aaron Fox and the Kings this year. But I don't see it. I don't see it. Ben Simmons and K being tied. I can't be mad at it. But uh, he's not going to. Bro, Ben Simmons is not going to have the craziest stats. But he's going to do it. He's going to try to help his team win. He just doesn't shoot. Like, he does everything else besides shooting. Like, and at the end of the day, a lot of people that don't watch games, that's like the most important thing for them. And he's not that. So, sorry. If you if you don't understand that's his flaw in the game and he can do everything else, then I'm sorry to tell you that. It does not say who ranked them there. It doesn't say who ranked them there. De'Aaron Fox, 47. So they think De'Aaron Fox and Sabonis are very close in like talent. See, I disagree with that. So Draymond should be much lower. CJ McCollum, 44. I don't know, man. I just don't know. 43, Clay Thompson. Who's ranking Clay Thompson in the top 15? Who's doing that? Maybe two years ago, yeah. He was an auto top 20 player. Auto top 25, top 20 player. But, No. No, he was never elite. He was a good, gr good to great. Elite, no. He was never a Kawhi lever defender. That's just a cap. That's that's just cap. He just cap. One of the best three and D defenders in the league by far because of his shooting ability, though. He was a good to great defender, though. Like to say that he was this elite defender, no. But he's gonna play really good fundamental defense for sure. Yes. Scotty Barnes, 41. I, I, I probably have Scotty Barnes above Fred Van Vliet this year. I think he's going to hoop this year. DeAndre Ayn, I probably, nah, DeAndre Ayn should be better than Evan Mobley. He should be better than Evan Mobley, bro. That's disrespectful. Darius Garland should be higher. I probably would have Jamal Murray higher, but I get it. He was injured. DeJounte Murray, I'm not putting DeJounte. I'm, I love DeJounte Murray. I love defense, but I don't know. 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 That's tough. That's tough. 
Drew Holiday, I feel like a lot of people be overrated where he should go. He's too inconsistent offensively to be where people try to put him. So, no. Yeah, I'm not mad at 35, though. At all. I feel like that's a really decent spot. DeMar DeRozan, 34. Shea, 33. I'm not mad at 33, but Shea might should be a little higher. LaMelo is, should not be over Shea or DeMar. Or, Jer or Jamal Murray. Or Darius Garland. Or Aiden. I think that's about it, though. So, I think that's about it. I probably wouldn't. Look, I'm, this might be a hot take, but I'm taking Maxi over Lamelo. I'm probably taking Maxi over Lamelo for sure. And I'm a big Melo fan. I've, I've, I've watched Melo since he was young gun. But I'm just being honest. Bam out of bio at 30. Highest rank was 21. Lowest was 48. Interesting. Let me see some of these highest ranks. Somebody had Lamelo as a top 17 player. One of the best passers in the league for sure. Demario Rosen, top 12 player in the league. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, who, like, these niggas is unserious. Chris Paul, top 18 player in the league. Come on, bro. Chris Middleton, better than Bam Adebayo. Interesting. Pascal Siakam, not surprised by it. Zach Levine, probably should be higher. Ant should, should be lower. Ant should be lower. But it is what it is. Bradley Bill, 25. Should probably be. Uh, I wouldn't be mad if he's lower. Not mad at 25 either, though. 24 for Ingram, he should probably be higher. Kyrie Irving, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. 33, though, that's far too low. 23, I'm not mad at that. 22, Zion. Injuries, so I probably would say for. Because of injuries, you gotta rank Brandon Ingram higher. But I probably would still put Zion higher. Donovan Mitchell. Should be lower, probably. I'm, I'm going to be honest, but it is what it is. Rudy Gobert, I don't know what's the infatuation with you analytic nerds, you stat junkies, but y'all got to watch a game. Y'all got to, bro. Teams literally, literally shoot the pill off the ball when they go against the, uh, Rudy Gobert. And it's been happening with the Timberwolves this year so far. It happened with the Jazz every single year in the playoffs. It's for a reason. He's a liability defensively. The people that you all be trying to act like is the best defenders is a liability defensively. Yes, he's going to be able to lock down the paint. But that, we're not in the era where everybody can't shoot no more. We're in an era where everybody want to play with as much space and pace. And he's not one of the fastest players in the league because of how tall he is. And he's not going. He's not one of the best shooters in the league. It's just a fact. And that's why I, I, I think Bam... It's so good because of all the stuff that y'all y'all love to to, to to suck this man off for. Who the hell is putting Rudy Gobert 11? Now, I ain't gonna lie. Some people just, just get their jobs taken. Because you putting Rudy Gobert. Who put Bradley Bill number 12 after last year? Like, who? Like, come on, bro. Who y'all? Some of y'all just got to get y'all jobs taken because that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Who's putting James Harden top eight? Who doing that? Like, come on. Who's doing that? Who's doing that? Anthony Davis, 17. I'm not mad at it. Because of injuries, I'm guessing. Carl Anthony Towns, 16. Then we got the top 15. Trey Young had a crazy good year last year, but it just got derailed by that playoff series. That was a horrible playoff series. So they're going to have him high, but he did have a good season last year. I'll give him that. Paul George, I guess. Damian Lillard. Not mad at it. Devin Booker. This is about where Devin Booker should be. Trey Young. Jimmy Butler. Okay. Okay. They still got Ja top ten. Who was in my top ten then? Oh, I need to I need to think about who was in my top ten. Cause I know my top eight. My top eight is pretty much no order. It gotta be Giannis. Giannis, KD, Luca, Curry, MB. How many is that? Five? Jokic? That's six. LeBron? That's seven. Did I say Kawhi? Hold on. Giannis? Luca KD. Kawhi. Curry. MB, Jokic, Braun. Those are the eight. Yeah, that's the eight I know for a fact got to be in the top ten. Got to be. If they not in the top ten, what are we talking about? Those not in the top ten, what are we talking about? Um, I think Tatum should be top ten. I think Tatum probably should be top ten. Like, if we're going to be biased about it like we do, Tatum got to be top ten. I think Jalen Brown is better than Tatum, though. So, that just kind of is what it is. I probably would throw in... A person like a Zion before I throw in a person like what well, some of these, but I guess if we throw in Zion and Zion ain't playing, I can't be mad at John. 
So I'll get y'all that. I'll get y'all that. Kawhi at nine. LeBron at eight. Way too low, but he's been injured, so I can't be mad at it. As long as you got him top ten. Not mad at it. At all. Who has him top three? I have no clue. Top four? That's a good ranking for you. Who put him as low as 16? What, bro? Like, what? 16? Somebody put Braun out the top 10? Like, what, what, what are you doing? Somebody put Jason Tatum as a top three player in the league. Hey. hey. He might be up to something, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm tripping. Jalen B, top three player. Jalen B and Jason Tatum had the same. Come on, man. Like, I, I can't be the one that's crazy. Highest ranking two. Lowest ranking eight. I don't know how you putting him eight. Highest ranking two. Lowest ranking nine. Coming off a ring. Lowest ranking nine. Come on, man. Luka Doncic. Highest ranking two. Lowest ranking six. Luka's number. He's top two. He's top two, in my opinion. Jokic. Highest ranking. So somebody actually had the balls and put him at one. That's crazy. I can't even be mad at that. I can't. I can't lie. I can't be mad at that. All right, bro. Who's putting? <laughs> nah, all right, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, nah. This is crazy. Cause how? Okay, this is how you know this is wild. Because you know it was only one person that put this man one. If he, if he's the number two and Giannis still is one, and somebody put him four. Nobody put Jokic under three. Nobody put Jokic under three. And Giannis, somebody put Giannis at four. Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I, I ain't gonna lie. That's pretty wild. But yeah, hey. It wasn't, I'm gonna be honest. The Bleach Report list was not nearly, not nearly as bad. Not even remotely as bad as that ESPN one. The ESPN one, I don't know what ESPN got going on over there. And Bleach Report, known. They are known for having bad articles. They are known for it. They are known for it. And ESPN, they just they just feel like they got they gotta do their job with these top 100s every year and make it as bad as possible. But yeah, if you guys want more of these article videos, all y'all gotta do, if y'all want me to react to certain articles, just put it in the comment down below and say what article y'all want me to react to and stuff like that. Y'all can even drop a link. And I got y'all boys. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys want more videos like this, like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, man, it's your boy Fitz. I'll do it, man. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah!